the first thing we try to do uh, with television networks is let them understand what's going on in the ecosystem online with regard to their brands. Um, usually we start with search, where we have a treasure trove of data coming in, seeing what people are searching for. And if you start with the presumption that uh, what people search for is a barometer of awareness or a barometer of their, their on-channel or offline marketing efforts, it's a great place to start. So you can see, okay, well, we've got a little bit of buzz going for this particular show, or there's no activity going on for a particular program. And you can make your decisions early on about which ones might have legs digitally or just overall. And you can do that in the search space as well as through online video. So you can kind of seed some content early on YouTube, see if it's starting to get some buzz, starting to get some comments, starting to get shared, or if people are watching half of the clip and then they're dropping off. You can really start to have kind of your real-time focus group there. Showtime in particular is very interested in having its content sampled because it's a pay channel. It's not something someone can just stumble upon. They have to make a de decision to subscribe. So um, most recently they did a promotion with us on YouTube on the homepage where they broadcast the entire uh, first episode of the series and that really kind of enabled a lot of people who wouldn't have sampled that content otherwise to sit in and watch it. From a search as well as from a YouTube perspective, um, television networks um, have great content, you know, and um, to the degree that Google can provide a utility to f let people find great content online, it's very important to us that our content creators make their content available or at least discoverable online. Even if it's actually viewed in its entirety offline, we want to make sure that we're providing that service so that if someone searches for a television network or someone searches for the name of a show, that we can get them either a sample of the content they're trying to watch in the idea of YouTube or find out when the show is on. So when you conduct a search on Google right now for any given television program, you may get some great organic results about, um, you know, let's say it's Lost, for example. That's not serious. It's on the air presently. But um, you'll see information about uh, you know, fan pages. You'll see Wikipedia. You'll see a Facebook fan page. And of course, you'll see the ABC homepage as well and, and, and the place to go and find out content about that. But if they were in season, what you wouldn't usually find is, is when it's on in that search, resen search engine result page. And so what we really try to work with marketers on is that if you've got one opportunity, someone has taken the time to search for your brand online, it means they're trying to, disc to find something out. We believe, in the case of television networks, that it's they want to know when it's on. And if we can deliver that messaging as quickly as possible to that person, then we've done our job.